today we are going to conduct experiments similar to what was done with butylated acetone, this time for natural acetone, and about the same conditions that we had before, and the same overall geometry. The only difference is that since it is natural acetone, uh, the frequency, the acoustic frequency is different, it's about 20.751. As you can see, cavitation bubbles are being formed over here about 15-20 per second. And first we'll obtain the time spectrum for thermoluminescence, similar to what we obtained for, uh, for deuterated acetone. Here we go. As you can see, time spectrum forming over here as a function of time. The shape and the quantity are, are essentially similar to what we saw for deuterated acetone. <coughs> this is the start of the pulse neutron generator burst where the, new, the, the bubbles are born and they collapse and, and then they start obtaining, uh, 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 just collapsing over, over the remaining 5000 microseconds before the cycle repeats itself. And we've just completed 10,000 sweeps. We're now going to, to obtain the same data, but now we're going to stop cavitation by having a frequency phase shift. As you can see, cavitation has essentially stopped. And now we're going to obtain the same data for time spectra to see as to whether any kind of uh, SL emissions are going to take place over the same amount of time, starting from the position of PNG bubble burst uh, initiation all the way to the sort of bubble uh, growth and collapse over many, many cycles throughout the remaining 5,000 microseconds. As we can see, there's not a, uh, under these particular conditions, we do not have any, any spurious um, or, or sonar luminescent signals. That's the end of the 10,000 sweeps. Thank you. Okay, now we've turned cavitation back on again. We have about 15, 20 or so bubble bursts per second. Frequency is 20.746. And now we are going to gate on neutrons and get the neutron time spectrum similar to what we obtained with deuterated acetone and cavitation on. To see if, if any excess neutrons are being produced, are going to be produced during the, the subsequent collapses of the bubbles. This is the region where you can see the pulse neutron generator firing. And this is the region after the fact when the bubbles are collapsing, but one does not see any any kind of delayed emissions of neutrons coming up uh, during the time when the bubble is collapsing. But this is because it is natural acetone, not deuterated acetone. <coughs> As one notices, uh, the spectrum is largely flat all throughout, uh, all throughout the time spectrum from zero to 5,000 microseconds during each sweep. And we're going to take 10,000 sweeps similar to what we did before. Okay, now we're going to turn cavitation off. We're going to turn cavitation off now. As one sees, cavitation has turned off. And we'll repeat this particular data acquisition for time spectra after the initiation of uh, the PNG burst. This is the time spectrum one gets with cavitation turned off, but for natural acetone. This also appears to be, as one can see, there is no bell shaped curve or anything of that sort with or without cavitation. There are no excess neutrons being produced as a consequence of bubble collapse. <coughs> We're obtaining data over 10,000 sweeps uh, or 50 seconds, like we've done before for deuterated acetone testing. Okay. <coughs> 
that's fine. Uh, okay, we are now going to obtain time spectra based upon gating on gammas rather than neutrons. And we've just turned on cavitation. As one can see, there's a pretty robust cavitation, about 15 or 20 bubble bursts per second. And we're going to obtain time spectra over 5,000 microseconds, starting with the time at which the, bubble, uh, the pulse neutron generator burst takes place. And you see prompt gammas coming off over here. And essentially, the tail of the gammas decaying off at a fairly constant background level thereafter.